What is the bullwhip effect? The bullwhip effect is the unexpected distortion of the supply chain caused by repetitive variation in demand. The unplanned demand from retailer oscillates back to the distributor and finally to the supplier, magnifying through each level of the supply chain. Why is it called the bullwhip effect? As the oscillating demand magnifies upstream in the supply chain, it is reminiscent of a cracking whip. Why is this a problem? Well, this can have a negative effect on business performance, such as inventory disruptions, quality control problems, diminished customer service and increased costs of material and manpower. Welcome to Procter & Gamble, manufacturer of Pampers disposable diapers. Let us introduce you to their supply and demand chain, which is similar to most supply and demand chains. This is Little Martin, our consumer at the customer end. He may look cute and adorable now, but wait until you see the havoc he is about to cause. Or, maybe we should say the havoc his mommy is about to cause. This is your typical retail store, Allmart, one of many, which stocks and sells Pampers diapers. Allmart is having a sale this weekend and running Pampers as a loss leader, 50% off. All the mummies are very excited, so they are planning to stock up. Allmart orders in bulk from its distributor, BS Distributors, taking all its safety stock in the process. BS has no stock left to supply Allmart or any other retailer for that matter. Not knowing what is going on and where all these babies suddenly came from, BS places a big order to replenish its inventory with a factory. Procter & Gamble's factory gets the big order and starts manufacturing in overdrive, but first it has to negotiate with the union regarding overtime pay and get a lot more supplies from its suppliers. To get the production on track for the new influx of babies? The supplier is not prepared for this sudden large order and has insufficient raw material required to make the diapers. Because it does not have enough stock, the supplier causes additional delays in production. Meanwhile, Allmart places another order that is bigger than normal because it had great sales this weekend and no stock left. But the distributor is panicking because they have no stock left and the factory has not sent nearly enough to cover the orders. So the distributor places yet another big order. And so it continues. Because no one is getting their orders, they carry on placing bigger orders still, compounding the problem. The factory is taking strain. Suppliers are under pressure. Distributors are panicking. Retailers are upset because they didn't get their orders. Mommies that could not get to the Walmart sale are upset because they have to buy Snuggies. And ones that made it don't know what the fuss is all about. By the time the factory starts delivering, everybody downstream starts cancelling their orders and the factory is left with an oversupply of stock. So why does this matter? Well, because of the stock out, baby has to wear Snuggies which give him a rash. Walmart lost sales and consumers are unhappy because they did not have stock. BS distributors retail customers are unhappy because it took so long to supply them with stock and they in turn are in the dog box with the factory for cancelling half their orders. The factory incurred additional costs to get the orders out faster, and the suppliers incurred additional costs in sourcing raw material for the factory, and now their orders have been cut in half. So now that you know what the bullwhip effect is, you probably want to know what causes it and how we can prevent it. There are numerous factors, often in combination, which contribute to the bullwhip effect. We will consider four of the major causes. Price fluctuations and sales promotions. Sales promotions and price discounts result in customers buying in large quantities and stocking up. As a result, the buying pattern does not reflect the actual consumption. Order batching. Companies place orders in batches, often to avoid the cost of processing orders more frequently or to avoid the high transportation costs for less than truckload orders. Shortage gaming. If product demand exceeds supply, manufacturers ration products while customers exaggerate their orders to counteract the rationing. Eventually, orders will disappear and cancellations will pour in, making it impossible for the manufacturer to determine the real demand for its product. Demand forecasts and accuracies. As each entity along the chain places an order, it replenishes stock and includes some safety stock. With long lead times, there may be weeks of safety stock, which make the fluctuation in demand more significant. Countermeasures to fluctuating prices. Fluctuating prices can be replaced with everyday low prices. Countermeasures to order batching. More frequent ordering results in smaller orders and smaller variants. Countermeasures to shortage gaming. Proportional rationing schemes are counted by allocating units based on past sales. Ignorance of supply chain conditions can be addressed by sharing capacity and supply information across the entire supply chain. Countermeasures to demand forecast inaccuracies. 
Lack of demand visibility can be addressed by providing access to point of sale data. Single control of replenishment or vendor management inventory can overcome exaggerated demand forecasts. Long lead times should be reduced as much as possible. With all this said, it's actually all about communication, communication, communication. communication. communication.